Uh, hello guys, RZG here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Map Making Season 2. And this episode we are going to redo a lot of stuff once again. Once again. Um, so basically what happened is for some reason, and I have to explain this to make it a little bit clear. When I go to my command block area here, for some reason all these command blocks and those handle the, uh, the upgrade system and the armor and the weapons, they are all empty. Fully empty. And all these are uh, all repeating command blocks are set to Nice Redstone, which is very, very odd. Uh, on this side, this is the artifact system, the system that basically handles all the artifacts working. And uh, yeah, the repeating command blocks are empty, but the rest isn't, which is even stranger. So um, yeah, but the, luckily those are the only systems affected here. But I generally, generally don't know what happened here, which is. Rather strange. Anyways, we're going to do re redo this system uh, today. This is the artifact system, picking it up, uh, delivering it back, etc, etc. Uh, and it's going to be good fun, I hope. Um, there's a lot of stuff to be done here. Uh, luckily, it's just copied over 10 times, so... Uh, uh, except for this system here, this is just an 11th row. Basically, what it's doing at the moment is... Oh, wow, it even deleted those signs. I think I might have done something with MC Edit. Anyways... Um, so I don't know what this row did, which is rather annoying. Uh, anyways, so the, the system here in front, what this does is it um, basically gives a particle uh, of the enchantment table around the armor stand placeholders. Those are the armor stands that are found on every single island. If you have seen previous episodes, you'll surely know what I'm talking about. And those basically have a particle effect around them just to make them look more interesting. And visual make them more visible, I guess. Next up... We have the scoreboard player set, and uh, we're doing it every armor stand that is not an ASP, but that is, uh, that has had our artifacts, uh, we are going to set the highest artifact score to zero, sorry. Um, the fact is, I don't know what this objective does anymore, it probably has to do with um, if the armor stand, uh, the, the actual artifact armor stand, which is a different armor stand from the armor stand placeholder, uh, the ASP. Um, it, it probably determines if he ha that that armor stand has a an artifact on him or not, and it's defaultly setting it to zero, which is very strange because defaultly it should have the artifact. So there's a few things here I want to do. I'm probably going to delete a lot of these objectives and make them tags, just so it's easier to find them or something. Um, let me just get going on this system for a little bit, and I'll talk to you back when I really made some progress here. I've been playing, and I've been playing a lot, and I'm actually very satisfied with the result. Um, what I did is, it does not seem like much, but I've tried to explain this w using these signs. What basically happens is, at the moment, I can summon an artifact, this is just a temporary one. And once I take the artifact, and I'm currently doing that w by hand, like so. Oh, and I actually talk. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's keep it silent, because you hear a sound. There you go. Um, so yeah, that sound, um, the, the chicken egg lay sound, I think it's oh, just chicken and egg, okay. Um, but that plays, that's, yeah, thanks, um, that plays on a certain moment and that's when the artifact gets taken. The thing is, it's very hard to actually come up with a method that only activates once uh, when something happened. This is an event, uh, it's, it's often called an event. Uh, and, and events are pretty difficult. I might actually make a video on events if you're very interested in that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. But um, I actually figured out a method which is really, really cool. Uh, and it works perfectly as well. So basically what happens is, uh, as I said, I need to detect... That's basically what I need to do. And I need to detect a tick where something happens. And then not do it again until it happens again. And that's the hard thing. So basically what I needed to happen is I needed to have, have this middle command activate. I needed to play sound this sound. Um, and I've set up some signs here, as I said. And basically what I, I need to do is, as I said here, I need to play this sound. And I set it up in two signs because this sound was full. Um, so what I have, I have the has artifact score, which I'm going to use for more. And that's why I'm using the scoreboard here. Um, so I'm just default setting it to zero. But then I'm setting it to one immediately. Immediately after, if I have, if that armor stand there does have an artifact on its head, um, and that uh, that this all happens in one tick, so it goes from there to there, and then the next tick it happens again. So in the next tick, I check again if 
the um, the artifact is still on its head, the, the, the coal block in this case, uh, unless some of you get confused. Um, so I'm adding the tag, this is again default, so I'm adding a tag A, not present, and I'm removing it when um, the artifact is actually taken. So basically that's two times the same set of commands, but one uh, after the command and one before. So basically in the middle I check if one is true and the other is false. And that basically means that I've had a change in the tick meanwhile, if that makes any sense. So basically, um, here with these two commands, with the, the last two signs here, it's checking um, if, I st if I have that artifact. And if the next time when I come around the next tick and it notices that it doesn't have it, then in between there something happened. And I'm going to respond to that using this command. So to actually show you that in commands, um, here is the, um, I'm doing this for area. I've been playing uh, around with making this global, but it's really hard and actually not possible. So um, what I'm doing is I'm for every artifact, this is just the artifact right here. Um, I'm setting the highest artifact score to zero by default, and then I'm setting it to one if they have a call block on his head, uh, their head. Um, so yeah, that that's basically when, at this moment, uh, it has artifact is one. But let's say I removed it, and the next ticket came around, and it, Defaultly added, not present, but it would remove it if uh, there's a call block. So basically there's present and let's get rid of the tag. Uh, but let's say I made a change in this tick, then it, this doesn't happen because this removes it. Sorry, I haven't shown you yet. Um, so that removes it. And then in this, uh, this is the play sign command here. And it detects if you have a highest artifact score of 1. So basically if... Um, the, the previous tick commands, these count for the previous tick, these score for a current, if they still think that the artifact is there, but the current one says, no, it's not there anymore. And at that moment, we play the sound. And then we come around here again, and this outputs zero now, because, hey, the artifact is gone, it's not one anymore. And that results into this effect. <laughs> Plop. Uh, so basically what I now need to do is I need to do the same thing for the returning of the artifact, and I previously did this with this setup with the um, with the red sun torches, etc., etc. It was a big hassle, and uh, the, uh, it had a delay on it, and it's not really beautiful. But I have to do a particle for this one as well, and I have to return the artifact, which is another thing. So I need to do three things instead of just playing the sound. Uh, oh yeah, that's another thing that I need to do. Um, and what I was about to say is that I need still need to do the gathering of the command. I need to when a player is close by, I need to be able to uh, get the uh, the, the artifact away from the person uh, and basically that would um, like give it to you in your inventory and get rid of it on the armor stand that's not too hard to do but uh, let me quickly finish those two things and then I'll be back with you with uh, hopefully another explanation ladies and gentlemen I am proud to say that the system is finally and I really mean finally working again um, I actually forgot to show you these two command blocks which I slightly changed in the meantime so it this is not really a problem, I guess. Let's quickly show it to you. This, these are the general command blocks. That's what I'm uh, doing with those. Those work on every single artifact here. So um, those are just teleporting. And those are doing the enchantment table effects. Okay, nice. Um, so yeah, that's basically what's happening. Uh, you didn't even see this happening because these commands were faulty. So um, yeah, basically this works. Uh, a little change I made is, uh, I probably can't find the command, but basically once you uh, have this artifact, you were able to pick it up again, but it wouldn't play the sound. Uh, and now, you, as you can see, it doesn't give me the, the, the thing anymore. So if I remove it now, let's, oops, sorry, uh, see this from a distance? It's not really visible. I need to do this differently. Um, let's, let's actually get it again. And let's just do this. Okay, I hope you could see that, but um, yeah, it reappears, does, uh, plays the sound, and it's it's actually reusable, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and as I said, it's going to work the same way as what I did before with the event system. The thing is, uh, because I'm not using this system anymore, I'm using a few more command blocks, but I don't think that's really an issue, because it's mainly passive checking, and basically what that means is it's only checking once it's really necessary. Um, so yeah, okay, I hope that made any sense, if not, I'm sorry. Um... So let's where I actually know want to know where it start. Okay, here. So um, first of all, this is the detecting and picking up system. So detecting when a player is nearby, 
uh, it's very easy. We are doing uh, at the art of armor stand, and if he has an artifact one score or has artifact one score, basically he does have the artifact. It will replace the item in the hot bar um, with a cold block, and that's basically what's happening. And then a conditional command block sets this thing to air, which basically results in the system that we uh, spoke of the last clip that will now. Um, creates the the sound and basically all that kind of stuff. So basically, yes, we use five command blocks just to play one sound. Um, <laughs> that's the conclusion you can pull from that. Uh, next up, we are doing the again the 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 event checking thing, and I'm going to do this with the signs, not with the commands, because you've seen it before. Uh, and, and the only thing is, we are doing it with the um, just two different tags. We have no call and we have uh, a call. So a no call and a call. And we are going to change those for every single artifact. So it's a lot of work that I need to do off camera. Um, anyways, um, first of all, we are adding the no call score. Um, so basically, uh, by default, no one has the call score. Uh, but we remove it when you actually do have it. Uh, and this is again the event checking. So um, actually, I should have started here. Okay, so we're removing the call score and then adding when necessary. But then we come over here, the next tick. And then we check if um, we still have that call. And if not, we are doing this. So we're doing the effects. We are, first of all, setting the call block back to its head. And then two conditional command blocks uh, playing the sound and playing the particle effect. Not too difficult. So um, actually the same system as we did before. It's just that we need to use a lot of command blocks to actually set it up. So it's not efficient, but as I said, it's passive checking. So fair enough. And it does give this beautiful effect. And it did. Yeah, yeah. I had to tinker about this for a long time, but I'm I'm very happy about this, and I, I think I can do this all day. <laughs> uh, that's that's one of those systems, you know. Anyways, let me uh, just do this once and a few more times, and let you enjoy another video on YouTube because I'm just rambling here. Anyways, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye.